Hi, I'm Larry Rudolph, president of Safari Club International. Almost 10 months have passed since I took the office as your president. The time has passed quickly, and it's been a year of challenges, and I'm proud to say also many successes for SCI. We started the year having just completed the independent business process review. The study was very involved, taking almost two years and $250,000 to complete. Most of this year has been committed to following through on what the EC and board had proposed in this study. Here are some of the highlights and successes for this year. For the first time in the 39 year history of Safari Club, we are debt free. We have close to 11 million in financial reserves and a strong balance sheet for the next year. Our treasurer, John Whipple, and the finance committee have done an excellent job. Our 2010 convention was the second best in our history. Considering we're in the worst economy in 30 years, that's remarkable. Congratulations to Bruce Evanson and the entire convention committee. We are crafting the first ever team marketing approach to tie together our mission and departments to create an overarching strategy. Well done to the marketing committee and its chairman, Paul Barstead. We have retained the field coordination program. We also have increased membership retention, succeeded in conservation success stories worldwide, CITES victories on the African lion, education programs second to none, and even our humanitarian services have drawn praise from President George W. Bush. When you elected me, I made a promise to increase the communications and engagement between the executive committee and you, the members of the board of directors. We now have the EC minutes posted on the website, an appointed liaison between the EC and the board, a letters to the president column. I send YouTube direct messages from myself. And what I am most proud of is the use of video conferencing to all the members of the board of directors, whether domestic or international. All board members now have a voice and a vote. But we still have more work to do. Hiring a new chief of staff, a new director of development, restructuring our governance, the SCIF board realignment, and the creation of a $100 million endowment to fund SCIF. Most of these issues come directly from the business process review we are in the middle of that process. I've been asked by past presidents, board members, and members alike to seek a second term as your president. They have indicated that right now, they feel it's in the best interest of SCI to have steady, continuous, and unifying leadership to complete these issues, so important to SCI's future. I have agreed to do so. It would be my privilege and honor to serve as your president for a second term. I would ask that you attend either in person or by video conferencing for this important election. The Board of Directors meeting is Saturday, May 15, 2010 in Washington, D.C. at the L'Enfant Plaza Hotel. I want to thank you for your support and your dedication to SCI, and I'll see you in Washington, D.C.